Hello and welcome back. Today I'm jumping right into it and making holiday ornaments. I got the idea to make a jackalope, and that inspired an entire woodland animal ornament collection with some mythical woodland creatures thrown in, like this one. If you don't know, a jackalope is a mix between a jackrabbit and an antelope, and he has these cute little antlers. These tiny paintings make wonderful ornaments, but I also think they're perfect for hanging on windows or walls all season. This is my favorite ornament of all the ones I'm going to create in this video. I just love him so much. I've struggled to paint animals for a long time, which is really sad because I love them so much. My issue was always that if I tried too hard to do realism and didn't get it perfectly right, it would just look bad and like I tried too hard. to do a red squirrel because I love the color palette. He's much more colorful than the others and he contrasts the holly really well. The eyes of each animal were my favorite part. Most woodland animals have very simple eyes, but if done right, they're so cute and full of life. After adding the highlight in the eye, all the animals come together. I didn't finish this one on camera, but I added little red berries to the holly. I also added some real baby pine cones at the bottom, but you'll see that at the end.
I love baby deer so much. Deer are one of my favorite animals, and I consider a fawn to be my spirit animal. And for whatever reason, I felt like this one needed fairy wings. I wanted to show you this awesome fine grit sanding eraser I got. It's supposed to be for ink, but it works really well to get rid of pencil marks on wood. Cookies? Yeah, hungry. Love you. Love you. This one is a bit less wintry than the others, but I felt like a springtime meadow vibe just fit her better. I decided to make a bear corn. You know, like a bear unicorn. I wanted to paint a black bear. And in order to create depth when painting with black, you're supposed to use some blue. This was the first time I've ever done this, so I'm not entirely sure I did it right. My favorite thing about him is his little smile. Look at him, he's so cute. I am obsessed with all of these, can you tell?
and with some pine needles and sparkly snow, he's almost finished. But I did add some more things that you'll see later on. This is the last one for the video, and it's a quick one. Since the design of this badger is so simple, I gave him a little red scarf. I ended up making him a warm brown hue to match his scarf. Doesn't he look so cozy? This is when I found a really great snow painting technique, where I concentrated the snow at the top to make it look like it's falling, rather than just randomly throwing it around. I really like how that ended up looking. Too bad I figured that out on the very last one. Later on, I added real moss and crystals to a few of them, just to make them even more magical. All of my woodland ornaments go up Friday if you'd like to see all the others I made. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season.